So today we are going to look at salamanders. Last week we talked about frogs and how they metamorphize. And frogs are one example of an amphibian. Today we are going to read this book, Salamander, Frog, and Pollywog, What is an Amphibian? We're going to look at amphibians and talk about them, and then you're going to do an amphibian activity. This book is by Brian P. Cleary and is illustrated by Martin Gonneau. Amphibians are animals. You'll find them near or in a lake or stream or on dry land, and most will have smooth skin. All of them have backbones and they have no scales or fur. Plus, they are all cold-blooded, which affects their temperature. Remember, we've talked about cold-blooded means that their temperature comes from the environment around them, that they get their heat from the environment around them. They can't make their own heat. Unlike you or me, they have their body temp transformed by what's in their environment from cool to hot to warm. Amphibians are born from eggs that don't have any shell. Instead, the eggs are made of something gooey like gel. When most are born, they breathe through gills beneath the water. And as they get older, they'll grow lungs and spend more time on land. Some have solid colored skin, while some have dots or stripes. And all around the world, they are a host of different types. There are a host of different types. Toads are in this class or group. The same is true of frogs. So you see the toads and frogs in that class. So they're all amphibians. At birth, they're both called tadpoles or sometimes pollywogs. The kids don't look like grown-ups. Not even just a tad. When they've first hatched, but over time, they'll look like mom and dad. One type of amphibian looks like a snake or worm. In water, mud, or dirt, it's known to slither, swim, and squirm. That's known as a cassillion. These legless creatures burrow with a head that's blunt and strong and range from just your finger's length to nearly five feet long. Salamanders tend to like the damp and dark to thrive. All right, so salamanders are what we're focusing on today. They look kind of like lizards. But remember, they have that smooth, wetter skin. And they like living in dark, damp places, the book says. Their front feet mainly have four toes. Their back feet, mostly five. Sometimes, one will wave its tail when enemies are near and then escape just as it drops, detaching at the rear. Amphibians are awesome. They've survived throughout the ages. For more facts that are riveting, just look at these last pages. So what is an amphibian? Do you know? An animal that is an amphibian. An animal is an amphibian if it has a backbone. So, right, it has bones. 
It has no feathers, fur, hair, or scales, or claws. In addition, all amphibians are cold-blooded. That means they cannot make their own body heat. Their bodies are the same temperature as their surroundings. And most amphibians live underwater and breathe with gills while young and live on land and breathe with lungs as adults. Most amphibians are born from eggs and most have smooth skin. One of the cool things about amphibians is the, their defense mechanism, their, the way that they have adapted to defend themselves. It's this one right here. So they will shake their tail at an enemy that is trying to like catch it and eat it. And then they will detach, they'll like drop off the end of their tail and the tail will keep moving, but it's not attached to their body anymore. And then they can run away while their enemy is distracted by their tail that just ripped off. Crazy, huh? So amphibians are pretty neat animals and we really only find most of them in wetland areas. We did talk about some toads in the desert and um, they, we will sometimes see frogs and stuff in the forest, but most amphibians live close to water because that's where they lay their eggs and where the babies grow. So salamanders include newts, but not all salamanders are newts. So you are going to go do your salamander activity. Have fun with that, my friends, and have a great day.